let's learn about Giovanni Antonio Canal, or better known as Canaletto. Canaletto uh, is his name that he took as an artist. So sometimes artists will take different names or they'll be given different names over time. Uh, he was born in Venice, Italy on October 28th, 1697. Venice is a town where instead of the streets, they have uh, canals or where you put a boat. Uh, his dad and his mom and his older brother lived with him. Uh, and in fact, his dad was also an artist. His dad was a painter. But instead of painting regular paintings we think about, he painted backdrops for plays. And he taught both of his sons how to paint. So Canaletto learned from his dad. Uh, in fact, the reason he's called Canaletto is he didn't want to get confused with his dad as an artist. His dad is Big Canal, and so he's Little Canal, or Canaletto. Uh, in 1719, when he was 22 years old, his dad took him on a trip to Rome to go work. He was working on doing a backdrop for a big fancy opera. Uh, but the thing was, Canaletto snuck out. He didn't want to do it. He actually snuck out and went around the town. And you'd think he didn't want to paint, but no, he actually wanted to paint. He just wanted to paint the scenery. There were a lot of artists there who were painting what the town looked like, and he fell in love with what Rome looked like. So he loved painting it. And so this began his um, joy of painting uh, the outside and landscapes. And he did a thing called tourist painting, where he painted a famous town or places, and then he would sell them. And usually through this man named Joseph Smith would buy them and then sell them to rich tourists. Uh, so let's look at some of his paintings. So we can see he's a very realistic artist. He made what the city actually looked like. Uh, this would show space. So his pictures look 3D, like you could walk into them. And the way, one of the ways he does this is called linear perspective. All the, the lines match up and they go to a vanishing point in the distance. Also, size and scales, when things closer to us are bigger and things further away look smaller, like the boats. Um, when you have perspective in your picture and you're doing one point perspective, then the lines are going to meet at a dot called the vanishing point. And so things are gonna get smaller and smaller and smaller until they get to the vanishing point where they vanish. He made lots of beautiful outside scenes and Another way to show the perspective is called atmospheric perspective, where things in the distance are hazy and have less details. So let's just look at a few more of his pictures. A lot of them are from his native Venice, where you'll see the boats and the canals. Um, and he's good at in putting a mood. We see there's stormy clouds here. He also showed um, famous landmarks, because remember he was selling these to tourists, um, people usually from England who would be um, going on a grand tour, which meant they were like exploring places on vacation. And so they would come and they'd buy as a memory of where they went, these fancy paintings that he would do. Okay, so uh, this is Canaletto. Bye.